this all begin? Um, well, it started during COVID a couple of years ago. I needed something to do when I wasn't working, so I started painting. I said, why don't you, why don't you do a show? Why don't you like, like, why don't you like push yourself and do like a hundred paintings? Frankie Payne is totally capturing the essence of these celebrities, these icons. It kind of turned into this whole collection of a hundred paintings. And what's the collection called? It's called FaceTime. Having been, you know, born in the 60s and, uh, and kind of coming of age in the 80s, you know, I was inspired by a lot of uh, all the glamour of Hollywood. I love like extreme makeup. So there, you know, being a hairdresser, I, I love, you know, these kind of beauty images. It's all acrylic, acrylic paint on, on canvas. Started out, you know, with, you know, Elizabeth Taylor, then it was like drag queens and it was, you know, crying babies and it was like just, I don't know, it just was like the weirder the better, you know. Is it harder to paint hair or do hair? Paint the hair, for sure. Yeah, I would imagine. It's funny, being a hairdresser, um, you would think painting hair would be my jam, but it's like <laughs> the one thing that I have to avoid because I, it's like the faces for some reason, I feel like I'm tapping into my inner makeup artist, you know, like getting into the eyes and the lips and the, you know, like the features of the face. And then the hair, hair's, I mean, it's got to be a hard thing it's to like paint, the right? Thing to paint. It's hard to do. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> with these smaller pieces and then you've got one large piece so yeah. did you find it harder to do the the large scale or did you I it was, was so <laughs> suicidal every, you asked my husband Don I was like every day I was like I can't do this I was going to Blick art store I was buying giant brushes like this has got to help <laughs> you know yeah and it was no it was just I mean, I started using my hands, like, yeah. you know, it was such a big, I mean, compared to these little eight inch squares. I like that they're small and intimate and it makes you want to walk up to it. You feel like you're having a relationship with, with the person. I can recognize every single person that I see. So he got really well with the likenesses, which is very difficult, I have to say. For me, it's all about Andorra. What is your favorite part of the art? Facial expressions, the colors. It's really the emotion that is captured. I loved um, Tim Curry, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It brings back so many memories. It talks to me. It's all the stuff that I like. It's fabulous. I mean, some of the expressions. To me, what stands out about the artwork is just the emotion that instantly comes across. I've seen Frankie's paintings from the beginning. The more he painted, the better he got. I mean, the detail on his later work is amazing. The work is beautiful. I actually had no idea that you painted, so I am actually legitimately impressed. I really like the work. I like it from far away. I think, like, the further away I get from it, the better it looks. And all of them are just divine. It makes love to your eyes. I, I couldn't be more proud of him. It's such a phenomenal accomplishment. I mean, having watched each one of these happen, just watching you grow, it's just, it's, it's really mind-blowing.